Today, I propose you join me on a very comfortable journey from Madrid to Sevilla aboard Erio's new ETR-1000. We'll kick off our adventure at the vibrant Puerta de Atocha station in Madrid, savor the stunning landscapes of the Spanish South, and reach Sevilla in less than 3 hours. I'll take you on a virtual tour of the train, the stations and the top-notch service, while also diving into the nitty-gritty details of schedules and pricing for this very enjoyable trip. Don't miss out on this fantastic ride! Hola y bienvenidos a Madrid, Puerta de Atocha. Hi and welcome to Madrid, Puerta de Atocha, one of the most beautiful railway stations in the world, now, as you can see, transformed in a construction yard. Its origins date back to 1851, when the first rail terminus was built in this general area. The marvelous main building that we see now was unveiled later on, in 1892. Fast forward 100 years, and to accommodate the first Spanish high-speed line from Madrid to Sevilla in 1992, this new complex opened, fully redeveloped, and soon became a bustling railway hub with two distinct stations, Puerta de Atocha, for high-speed trains, and Atocha Cercanías, for all other services, along with Madrid Metro Line 1, buses, taxis, and a car park. The most remarkable feature here is the lush tropical garden, the iconic symbol of Atocha. Spanning over 4,000 square meters, this garden is built on the site of the former platforms and train tracks, and that's transformed into a popular tourist attraction in its own right. Surrounding the garden, there are Renfe's and Urio's ticket offices, shops, cafes, and restaurants. Passengers are reminded not to get too engrossed in the garden and miss their trains by the big departure boards also placed in the area. As we navigate through the main areas of the station, we find a variety of shops offering everything one might need for the journey and more. It's possible to buy even shirts and socks in this complex. quiet place stands in remembrance of the nearly 200 victims of the terror attack that took place here on March 11, 2004. It's worthy of a moment when passing by Atocha. The names of all those who lost their lives that day are engraved in the wall. Proceeding through the station, I pass the security checkpoint and the bustling concourse of the high-speed trains. Filming this area is prohibited due to security concerns and also because it was very crowded. Departure was scheduled for 10.35, but the train didn't arrive at the platform until 10.32. Boarding commenced 5 minutes after its arrival. My big red train is on track 8. It's the Spanish version of the Italian ETR 1000, or, as Tren Italia markets it, Freccia Rossa Mille. In Spain, it's class 109. These trains were jointly designed by Bombardier and Ansaldo Breda and are currently being manufactured by Alstom and Itachi Rail in Italy as the result of Alstom's acquisition of Bombardier's rail division and Itachi Rail's acquisition of the Ansaldo Breda factory in Pistoia, Italy. Operating under Erio, these trains offer 451 seats across four different classes of service, they commenced operations in November 2022 and currently serve routes from Madrid to Barcelona, Valencia, Alicante, Málaga and Sevilla, as well as from Barcelona to Sevilla at speeds of up to 300 km per hour, even if they are certified for 360 km per hour in commercial service and have a maximum design speed of 400 km per hour. At 10.50, we start moving after a 15-minute delay, only to discover that it was a false start and we stop shortly after. I used the time to check the map for today's trip with you. Our 471km trip starts in Madrid and reaches Sevilla Santa Justa, with only one stop at Córdoba. At 10.54, we finally begin our journey. As we do so, I take the opportunity to tell you a little about Idio trademark of ILSA, Intermodalidad de Levante S.A., a Spanish private open access high-speed operator. This company is a joint venture involving Trenitalia, which holds 45% of the capital, Air Nostrum, now owned by IAG, with 31%, and 
and Global Via with 24%. In a certain way, Irio may be viewed as Trenitalia's Spanish branch. On this route, Irio offers five round trip options daily between Madrid and Sevilla. The earliest departs at 6.50 and the latest at 7.55 p.m. with a travel time of 2 hours and 42 minutes to cover the 471 kilometers between the cities. In terms of prices, I bought a ticket for 61 euros and 52 cents by booking three weeks in advance. However, it's important to note that fares are dynamic and prices may vary significantly based on specific trains and how far in advance tickets are purchased. The buying process is convenient as tickets can be easily bought through Wirio's website, the mobile app or at the stations. Please enjoy the passing railway scenery. I will return shortly with more fascinating details about this trip, the train and the high-speed line to Sevilla, which has been in operation since 1992. Immediately after departure from Atocha, a welcome drink is offered along with some peanuts. I opted for the other juice, but there are many options available. Let's look now at the cabin and the seat. The cabin offers a very calm ambience with its neutral colors. There are overhead racks and TVs. Seats are large, very comfortable and with two armrests. On the back of each, there's a QR code with a link for the menus on offer. The table is big enough to accommodate a 17-inch laptop with a groove for glasses. Above, you can find a QR code linking directly to the onboard entertainment. There's also a footrest. and the beam. Legroom, as you can see, won't be an issue even for very tall passengers. On the wall, there's information about the power options available under the seat. There are two USB ports and one regular 220 volt socket. Overall, this is an excellent seat, providing a high level of comfort and amenities.
Puerto Llano is a significant station along the route, and we pass it without stopping as Irio doesn't serve this city. Along with Ciudad Real, it became a case study for the impact of the introduction of a high-speed service on the decision-making process of individuals in choosing to reside in a smaller city while maintaining their employment in larger urban areas. Nowadays, a reasonable number of people live in both these cities, commuting daily to Madrid using mostly Avant services, which I will also bring you in a future video. Looking back inside the train, I show you one of my favorite areas, the cafeteria. On these trains, it's beautiful, well-appointed and quite inviting. Finally, there are the toilets, a little bit on the small side, but very clean and functional. The approach to Córdoba is marked by the Sierra Morena and its tunnels. It's a good time for me to have my lunch, as it should always be served before reaching this station. When booking your tickets, remember that the meal is complimentary at Infinita Bistro. Be sure to place your order. You can find the available options in the description below. I chose the menu carrilleras, small pork cuts cooked at low temperature with mashed potatoes and snow peas. There's also a bread, black chocolates, cream for the coffee, butter, and another juice. After a nice hot lunch and coffee, I can sit back and enjoy the passing scenery while talking a little about how the idea of a variant to the main line connecting Madrid and Sevilla became Spanish's first high-speed line. Back in the 1980s, the Madrid-Sevilla railway faced significant congestion due to the increasing traffic. The bottleneck at Paso de España Pemos hindered any meaningful improvements to the existing line. To address this issue, a new access route to Andalusia was proposed, involving enhancements to existing lines and a new variant to bypass the bottleneck. At around the same time, the government also mandated that all new railway lines in Spain should adhere to the European gauge of 14.35mm instead of the previous Iberian gauge of 16.68mm. However, this decision posed a challenge, as the new line would be isolated without direct connections to Madrid or Sevilla. Consequently, Spain's first high-speed railway line was conceptualized to overcome these problems, designed to high-speed standards and extended to connect Madrid and Sevilla in the European gauge. And the first high-speed line in Spain was born, built at record speed and opened in April 1992 in time for that year's Universal Exhibition that took place in Sevilla. Since then, it became a success, with around 4 million passengers using high-speed trains between Madrid, Sevilla and the other stations in the line in 2023. After a little more than 90 minutes from Madrid, we reach Córdoba, a city with a population of over 300,000 and a history spanning over 2,000 years. This astounding city is definitely worth a visit, boasting several monuments classified as World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. A Class 102, Pato or Duck in Spanish, operating an AVE service from Malaga to Madrid, is seen departing on the track adjacent to ours. Stay tuned for an upcoming video on the channel showcasing this service. As we leave this marvelous city, Sevilla is now less than one hour away.
I made sure to test the entertainment service before offering my feedback. The internet connectivity is generally reliable, although it can be a bit sluggish at times. The entertainment options include newspapers, music, movies and TV shows, all accessible through Erio's entertainment app. During my trip, I found it to function flawlessly. Passing through the Maharabique changing gauge facility, we know that Sevilla Santa Justa is less than 10 minutes away, prompting me to share my overall impression of this trip. Upon arrival, I'll offer you a final look at the Frecha Rosa from the exterior. The train provided a comfortable journey with smooth rolling quality, good food and impeccable service. The cabin attendant was delightful displaying a high level of professionalism and a genuine desire to ensure a positive experience for the passengers. The only downside was the delay in reaching Sevilla. However, I believe this to be an isolated incident and not the norm. During the trip, Irio sent an SMS apologizing for the delay, which was appreciated. I understand that not everyone may enjoy the contents about the trains and infrastructure at the stations as we depart and arrive. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback is important to me and I'd love to know if there's something else you'd prefer to see. Welcome to Sevilla Santa Justa. 
Join me as I move along the train. Thank you for coming along on this journey all the way till the end. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very helpful and means a lot. Also, if there's any train or trip that you'd like me to show on the channel, feel free to say so in the comments below or send me an email. I'm open to suggestions. Thank you for being here and see you in my next video.